Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the previous lessons, we learnt some of the types of antibiotics. If you did not watch them, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch the complete playlist of antibiotics discussed so far. To watch the other topics of medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this lesson, we will learn the introduction, classification and mechanism of action of sedatives and hypnotics which are the drugs acting on the central nervous system. The central nervous system, abbreviated CNS, coordinates and controls the activity of all other body systems. As a result, anything that directly affects the CNS ultimately influences the overall function of the body. With the increased CNS stimulation, a person responds by becoming more alert, anxious and occasionally more irritable. Excessive CNS stimulation can cause convulsions or various forms of abnormal behavior. Abuse or improper use of amphetamines or cocaine can cause these effects. In contrast, depression of the CNS reduces both physical and mental activity. Excessive CNS depression can produce unconsciousness, coma and death. CNS depression is frequently related to the misuse of barbiturates and alcohol. Sedatives and hypnotics are used therapeutically to depress the CNS activity. These agents are used primarily to treat anxiety and insomnia. Agents given to relieve anxiety are known as anti-anxiety agents or anxiolytics. They were previously known as tranquilizers. Drugs given to promote sleep are known as hypnotics. The distinction between anti-anxiety and hypnotic effects is a matter of dosage. Which means sedatives and hypnotics relieve anxiety in low doses and induce sleep in higher doses. Therefore, a single drug may be considered both an anti-anxiety agent and a hypnotic agent depending upon the reason for its use and the dosage employed. Sedatives are used to reduce the desire for physical activity. Thus, a sedative is a drug that produces a relaxing and calming effect but do not produce sleep. Usually, a sedative will be prescribed after a heart attack and some other condition when overexertion may be harmful. Various emotional or medical situations can cause anxiety and tension to interfere with sleep. When an individual is unable to sleep, a condition medically known as insomnia, excessive tiredness can contribute to greater anxiety and make any situation worse. In this instance, hypnotic drugs may be prescribed to induce and maintain sleep. A hypnotic is a drug that induces sleep, that is, it allows the patient to fall asleep and stay asleep. Hypnotics may also be called saporiferic agents. Now, let us try to understand sleep and sleeplessness and how to treat the sleeplessness. Sleep is a normal physiological phenomenon in humans. Sleeplessness, which is medically termed as insomnia, it is the inability to obtain an adequate amount or quality of sleep. Insomnia is a symptom and its proper treatment depends on finding the cause of sleeplessness and treating the underlying etiology. The most common type of insomnia is transient insomnia due to acute situational factors, which means the sleeplessness lasting only for a short time or impermanent or not permanent. The typical factor is stress. Chronic insomnia is most commonly caused by psychiatric disorders. Numerous medical disorders can cause insomnia and many drugs such as alcohol, antihypertensives, antineoplastics, beta blockers, caffeine, corticosteroids, levodopa, nicotine, oral contraceptives, phenytoin, protriptyline, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, stimulants, theophylline, thyroid hormones, etc. have been implicated as causing insomnia. The primary indication for use of hypnotic agents in patients with insomnia is a transient sleep disruption caused by acute stress. Sapophilic agents are the drugs that facilitate the development and normalization of sleep. However, the sleep that is induced by the majority of drugs differs from natural sleep. For approximately 100 years, bromides followed by chloral hydrate and subsequently by barbiturates 
were the only drugs capable of relieving patient conditions of insomnia and neurological disorders. However, today there are many compounds of various chemical classes that can be classified as sedatives and hypnotic drugs which are capable of causing various degrees of CNS depression, relieving anxiety and causing sleep. Classification of sedatives and hypnotics From the chemical point of view, sedatives and hypnotics are classified into four types. Number 1 barbiturates, number 2 benzodiazepines, number 3 non-benzodiazepines and number 4 miscellaneous agents. Barbiturates are further divided into four groups depending on the duration of clinical action. These include long-acting barbiturates, intermediate-acting barbiturates, short-acting barbiturates and ultra-short-acting barbiturates. Benzodiazepines are further divided into four classes such as 1,4 benzodiazepines, triazolobenzodiazepines, imidazolobenzodiazepines and others depending on the heterocyclic ring system that is present in the structure. Non-benzodiazepines are also called Z drugs as these drugs chemical name starts with the letter Z. They are Zolpidem, Ezopiclone which is the active isomer of Zopiclone and Zaluplon. And the fourth and last group of sedative and hypnotics are miscellaneous agents which include different classes of compounds such as amides and imides, alcohols and their carbamate derivatives, aldehydes and their derivatives, piperidine derivatives and lastly vinosoline derivatives. Coming to the first class of sedatives and hypnotics, barbiturates. Barbiturates are substituted derivatives of barbituric acid or malonyl urea. Barbituric acid as such is not a hypnotic but compounds with alkyl or aryl substitution at C5 position are hypnotics. Replacement of oxygen with sulfur at C2 yields thiobarbiturates which are more lipid soluble and more potent. They have variable lipid solubility, the more soluble ones are more potent and shorter acting drugs. They are insoluble in water but their sodium salts dissolve yielding high alkaline solution. The barbiturates are divided into four groups depending on their duration of action. They are long acting, intermediate acting, short acting and ultra short acting barbiturates. The onset of action for long-acting barbiturates is visible only after an hour or so and the duration of action lasts for 6 to 10 hours. They are largely excreted by the kidney. Examples include barbitol, phenobarbital, mefobarbital and methorbital. The onset of action for intermediate acting barbiturates is for 30 minutes and their hypnotic effect lasts for 4 to 6 hours. Most of them are first generated by the liver and the metabolized product subsequently excreted by the kidney. They are generally used in insomnia and also as a pre-operative sedative. They also find their use in the treatment of convulsions when administered intravenously. Examples are amobarbital, aprobarbital, butabarbital, butalbital, hexobarbital and talbutal. The onset of action for short-acting barbiturates falls within 15 minutes and their hypnotic action lasts for 1 to 2 hours. They are mostly metabolized in the liver. They are invariably used in the treatment of insomnia and pre-operative medication. Examples include cyclobarbital, heptabarbital, pentobarbital and secobarbital. The ultra short acting barbiturates act almost instantaneously that is within a few seconds after administration. Because of this peculiar character, they are used as anesthetics. Single doses have a duration of 20 minutes or less. Examples of drugs are thiamylol, thiopental and methohexital. The second class of agents are benzodiazepines, abbreviated BDZ. There are a number of compounds which do not possess the malonyl urea or barbiturate structure but exhibit marked and pronounced sedative hypnotic activity very similar to that of the barbiturates. Like barbiturates, these are habit forming to varying degrees. The basic chemical structure of the benzodiazepines consists of a benzene ring coupled to a seven-membered heterocyclic structure containing two nitrogens, that is diazepine, at position 1 and 4. Of the 2000 benzodiazepines that have been synthesized, approximately 15 clinically useful compounds are on the market in the US. They may be grouped together on the basis of the basic structures namely 1,4-benzodiazepines, 
triazolo benzodiazepines, imidazolo benzodiazepines, and others. The structures of 1,4 benzodiazepines are shown here. Triazolo benzodiazepines chemically differ from other benzodiazepines by having an additional fused triazole ring. These include alprazolam, triazolam, and estazolam. Imidazolo benzodiazepines are midazolam and loprazolam. Other benzodiazepine drugs are bromazepam, chlorodiazepoxide, and brotizolam. The third class of sedative hypnotics are non benzodiazepines. The so called Z drugs, zopiclone, zolpidem, and zaliplon were discovered through systematic screening of molecules that possessed binding characteristics and in vivo activity similar to that of benzodiazepines. These three drugs are non-benzodiazepine drugs as can be seen from their structural chemical characteristics. It is worth noting that more recently the S plus enantiomer of zopiclone, s -zopiclone, has been licensed. The S plus enantiomer is reported to have greater activity than the R minus enantiomer with a 50 fold higher affinity for the GABA A receptor, and it is also suggested that it is superior in terms of the side effects profile. And the last class of sedative hypnotics are miscellaneous agents. A wide range of chemical structures can produce sedation and hypnosis resembling those produced by the barbiturates. These include amides and imides such as glutathimide, alcohols and their carbamate derivatives which include ethchlorvinol, meprobamate, carisoprodol, chlorphenicin carbamate and methocarbamol. Aldehydes and their derivatives include chloral hydrate and peraldehyde. Piperidine or piperidine dione derivatives such as glutathimide, methyprilone, dihydroprilone and ethypicone and quinazolin derivatives are methaqualone, mecloqualone, and ethinazone. All these classes of drugs will be discussed in detail in the future classes. Mechanism of action of sedatives and hypnotics. The activity of the brain is in large part dependent upon the action of various neurotransmitters. Each neurotransmitter is released from a specific nerve ending and functions to either stimulate or inhibit neuronal function. One of the most important inhibitory neurotransmitters is GABA known as gamma aminobutyric acid. GABA accounts for approximately 50% of the inhibitory activity of the brain and spinal cord. Neuronal function is in large part also dependent upon the action of various ions such as sodium, potassium and chloride. Each of these ions moves in through influx or out of efflux the neuronal membrane through specific ion channels. Nerve action potentials are generated when sodium ions influx through sodium channels to depolarize the nerve membrane. Nerve action potentials are inhibited when chloride ions influx through chloride channels to hyperpolarize the nerve membrane. The neurotransmitter that regulates the chloride channel is gamma aminobutyric acid. The chloride channel is composed of 5 subunits, 2 alpha, 2 beta and 1 gamma. These form a circular channel that when open allows the chloride ions to pass through the nerve membrane into the neuron. GABA binds to a specific site on the channel referred to as the GABA-A receptor. When GABA binds to the GABA-A receptor, the channel opens and chloride ions influx into the nerve causing hyperpolarization. This reduces generation of action potentials and inhibits neuronal activity. The chloride channel also contains additional receptor sites for barbiturates, benzodiazepines and other hypnotic drugs. These hypnotic drugs increase GABA-A receptor mediated chloride influx by binding to the specific drug receptor sites on the chloride channel. Barbiturates prolong the duration of channel opening and increase chloride ion influx. Barbiturates are also believed to have additional inhibitory actions both related and unrelated to the chloride channel. The benzodiazepines bind to their receptors named the benzodiazepine receptors and increase the activity of GABA by increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. Drugs such as zolpidem, zaleplon, and ezopiclone demonstrate a more selective binding to a subunit of the benzodiazepine receptor referred to as the BZT1 receptor. This selective binding offers certain hypnotic advantages over barbiturate and benzodiazepine drugs. 
Each of these drug classes act to facilitate the inhibitory actions of GABA to increase chloride ion influx. The diagram shows the location of receptor sites for GABA and the various hypnotic drugs. The hypnotic drugs enhance the inhibitory actions of GABA to increase the influx of chloride ions and inhibit neuronal activity. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the sedatives and hypnotics introduction, their classification, structures and mechanism of action. In the next video, we will discuss on barbiturates, their chemistry, structure activity relationships and clinical uses. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.